I'm gonna show you how I painted Lola and Bugs Bunny, so enjoy the process and let's get to it. So I'm starting off with a blank canvas here and splashing on some white, blue, a little bit of brown, and some black. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now and click that bell for notifications as we continue on with this fun project here. Um, now I'm airbrushing some colors in there. You can see I got a bunch of colors, yellow, white, red, green, some white right there. This is going to be the audience, the crowd in the back of the, uh, behind the, the Toon Squad, behind uh, Lola and Bugs Bunny. Uh, so they're just real blurry, they're out of focus. That's why I use the airbrush for that. It, it gives me the best results in uh, blurring out that background uh, as opposed to using a paintbrush. And now I'm sketching in bugs with a white charcoal uh, pencil. And you'll see I'm sketching, I'm gonna start sketching Lola right after. And I wanted to get these characters kind of in a good size. Uh, uh, for the painting, I wanted to have their heads uh, um, be a decent size here. Didn't wanna go too small, didn't wanna go too big and not show their bodies either uh, and their jerseys. So you can see I'm sketching now uh, the rest of Lola. And once I got that sketched out, you, now I'm starting to paint in the colors. And I'm kind of all over the place um, with painting Lola. You can see I start off with the gloves on the bottom, then I move to the skin tones on the face, on the arm. Um, I was just filling out the colors really at that point. I have mixed a bunch of colors together and uh, and I just kept hopping back and forth to see how I liked those colors. Um, and I did, I liked them. Uh, you can see I'm doing the hair. I'm all over the place on this one. Ears, hair, her face, her arms, her legs, which I accidentally painted uh, that her, her skin tone, but she has some undershorts there and those are actually gonna be blue. So I'm just gonna blend in some blue later on with that but uh, I can get to the highlights of the face, the cheeks. I'm painting in that skin tone, that bunny skin, the Lola bunny skin tone, uh, which is also kind of like a human skin tone. I'm getting the highlights on the eyelashes or on the eyelids. some color around the eyelids. Now I'm painting the the outer part of the ears. The inner part's gonna be kind of a reddish color. Not a not a true pink and not a true red. It's kind of a little bit in between with a little brown in there. Uh, for those ears. And some more details on the hair. And if you're enjoying this painting, uh, check out my Etsy shop. I'm putting this painting up in the Etsy shop so, uh, so it's available for you to purchase. And that'll be along with my other Space Jam uh, paintings and you'll see those videos too on my channel and just a wide collection of uh, other art that I've done. I got a little something for everybody on that in that Etsy shop so make sure you visit and you can see I'm painting the jersey and getting those highlights in there. Now the red uh, outline, the red trim on the on the arms and then the neck. Now that orange, that yellow orange red um, circle on the on the side right there. That very familiar circle uh, for the jerseys this time. I got some shadow in on the bottom part of the jersey. 
and now I've revisited the hands and got the rest of the hands painted in there. So you see I did that at the beginning, I got the outline, the, the white outline of the hands and then just got to it right now. And her other arm painted in, and some more of that red trim on the shorts. And now on to Bugs, and then I hop back and forth a little bit on, on some details on Lola as I as I see them needed. But uh, Bugs, getting that orange and red color on his jersey. And his gray skin tone. And at this point, I'm just trying to get all that gray on there as much as I can and get those highlights as well on the ears and on his head. I add a little bit of an additive. I, I add something to um, to my oil paint. This is an oil painting and I add something to it that makes it dry faster. Uh, not, as, not as fast as acrylic painting but uh, just so I don't have to wait days for this to dry. It just takes uh, maybe a day for these oil paints to dry, but what happens while I'm painting is they start drying up or becoming a little less easy to uh, move around and manipulate. So in, in some of these instances, I'm, I'm trying to put the color on the canvas before, I, before it dries up on me. Uh, so that's also some of the uh, method to me, uh, to, to where I'm painting and to what, sometimes that guides me on what I'm painting next, but with the gray, I wanted to get as much of it as I can on bugs because that was drying up on me. I'm getting the details in the face. And bugs mouth and tongue. Some little, some little highlights on the teeth. And painting some white over the hands. And getting that red trim on his jersey. And that white right there is his tail. Now spreading that blue around for the jersey. And getting all that color filled in there. And you can see where I went from light to dark. And I add a line of uh, dark blue and uh, blend that together with the bottom part of the shorts. And that gives a good shadow underneath the jersey. Same for in between the, the legs. Uh, nice dark blue in there and comes out to a uh, lighter, lighter tone blue. Uh, outlining Bug's body, adding some more white tone uh, to his hands and to his cheek. Some more, some lighter tones to his neck and a little bit of blush to Lola. Very light blush. On to riding Toon Squad on their jerseys. Bugs will be sideways. And then uh, his whiskers. And there we go, Bugs and Lola Bunny. If you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that bell for notifications thanks for watching